Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be calculating the yield to maturity using the financial calculator HP10B2+. Now, we have done the same examples using the formula. You'll find the link to that lesson in the description below, which helps you understand the topic of calculating yield to maturity very well. And in that same lesson, we also calculated the yield to maturity using Excel. So you can check that one out. We've also done other lessons using the same financial calculator. You'll find the links to those lessons in the description below. So, yield to maturity. Let's look at the first example. A bond has a face value of 100 rand, pays 10 rand annually, currently sells for 95 rand, and matures in five years. Determine the yield to maturity. Now, it's very important for us to understand what these amounts stand for. The face value is the amount that will be received by the bondholder when the bond matures. So the face value becomes our future value because the bondholder will receive this amount in future when the bond matures. And in this case, it will receive it at the end of five years. So we know that's our future value and that's what we're going to put in our calculator. And it pays 10 rand annually. We know that is the coupon, all right? How much the bondholder is going to receive annually. So we know this is the payment and it currently sells for 95 rand. If it currently sells for 95 rand, it means the bondholder has to pay 95 rand today. That is the market value of the bond. So that is the present value. And obviously it matures in five years. That is our number of years. Now that we have understood those, let's find them into our calculator. What's very important here is to be able to know what the payment period is. We are told that it pays 10 rand annually. So that means we must make sure that our calculator is compounded annually, meaning compounded once per year. But we know that this calculator by default is compounded 12 times per year. How do I know that? If you press the orange button and then press C, you can see it's written 12 per year. So we need to change that to one. How do we do that? Well, we press the number one, we press the orange button and we press PMT. You can see under PMT, it's written payments per year, all right, or periods per year, all right? And it's back to one. So for us to check, we just press the orange button and then press C and you can see it's one per year. We're good to go. Now let's put in the number of years. Well, it's for five years, so I'm just gonna press five and press N because it's compounded once per year. That's all I needed to do. And then what we're looking for is I slash YR. That is our yield to maturity. So we skip that one and then we put the present value. Like I said, the amount that the bond is currently selling for is the present value and it currently sells for 95 Rand. So I'm gonna put 95 Rand and press the plus slash minus sign because this is the amount that the bondholder has to pay today. And I press PV, all right? And then what do I do next? I put in the payment amount, which is 10 Rand. So I press 10 and then I leave it as a positive and I press PMT because that's how much the bondholder would receive annually. And then the future value is the face value. Always remember that, as I mentioned earlier as well, 100 rand and I leave it as a positive and I press FV. Now what I must mention here quickly, your PV must have a different sign than your PMT and FV. As you saw, our PV, we put it as a negative and we left our PMT and our FV as a positive. If we didn't do that, it's going to give us an error. Alternatively, you could have put your PV as a positive and put PMT and FV as a negative. All right. So just make sure you do that. Now, all I need to press is the I slash YR. And there we have it. It has given us our yield to maturity, 11.37%. So for this particular bond, the yield to maturity is 11.37%. Now let's do the second example. We are told that a bond has a face value of 100 rand. We know that a face value is the future value, how much the bondholder will receive in the future. So that's our FV that we'll put here. And then it pays 6 rand semi-annually. What do we mean by semi-annually? That is twice per year. It's paying 6 rand every 6 months. And it currently sells for 108 rand. We know that is how much the bondholder has, has to pay today. So that is our present value. And matures in 10 years. That is our N. Calculate the yield to maturity. Now, again, we have to check what is our payment period here. Well, we can see that it pays six rand semi-annually. So that is twice per year. So we need to make sure our calculator is compounded twice per year. But if I press the orange button and press C, you can see it's one per year, which we had already set. So we need to change it to twice per year. So I just press the number two, press the orange button and press PMT. All right, now it's twice per year for you to check. You just press the orange button and then press C and you can see it's two per year. All right, now it coincides. Now what we need to do is to put our number of years is 10 years. So I just press 10, but since it's compounded more than once per year, 
I press the orange button first and then I press N. And you can see what it has done. It has taken the 10 years and it has multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is two. All right. Very important. If it's compounded more than once per year, unlike our first example, which was compounded once per year, we didn't have to press the orange button and then press N. We will have to press the number of years, press the orange button and then press N. And what that does is that it takes the number of years and multiplies it by the number of compoundings per year. And you can see it's 20. All right. Now that we have that, we put in our present value, which is how much the bond is currently selling for 108 rand. So I press 108 and then I put it as a negative and then I press PV. Okay. And then the next thing that I do is I put in my payment, which is the six rand. So I just press six and then I press PMT. Remember, we leave it as a positive because we already put the present value as a negative and then the future value will also have to put it as a positive. So our future value is the face value of 100 rand. So I press 100 and then I press FV and I've put in all the details that I needed to put. All I need to do is to press the I slash YR and it gives me my yield to maturity, 10.68%. That is our yield to maturity. So if the bondholder holds on to this bond for the duration of 10 years, the yield to maturity is 10.68%. I hope it has made sense. I hope you've gained value from this lesson. If you'd like to learn more about the yield to maturity, the coupon rate and the current yield, you will find it in the link in the description below. Otherwise, if you have gained value, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.